Hello YouTubers, hello pretty flowers on a, I'm back again with more updates and different news and I hope you missed me because I sure missed you. I've been watching practically non-stop when I was stitching all the floss tube, all the new ones. Yeah, it's so much fun. I still have some catching up to do. Like always, none of us, I think, can be up to date. So I wanted to do a video a couple, at least a few days ago, but we've been sick for our whole family. On the weekend, me and my daughter were like having chills and a cough, and she had the fever like Eli didn't because my husband wasn't feeling 100% either. And there's always somewhere to go and things to do with the kids um, uh, that they have to do at the either scouts or clubs um, with the school or uh, not with the school. So and now it's two of the kids are pretty much okay, but my middle one has been having some stomach pains. I almost took the him um, to the ER last night and that's pretty strong pain. We even went to doctors and we did some testing in the lab and the doctor even thought maybe it would be kidney stone, but turns out it's not. Oh God, he's like 12, you know. That's way too early for a kidney stone, but we still can't figure out exactly what it is. We've been taking medication and uh, I hear that he's sick, you know, like always mothers, parents, you know, we're worried about our kids. So he's home, you might hear him making noise, um, he likes to watch YouTube videos, but not the floss too. <laughs> and my husband is sick uh, of work and uh, coughing and hacking and having chills, so I guess he coughed from me. And my eldest said, don't go near me, I have way too many tasks coming up, I can't, you know, can't afford to get sick in the high school, so and he's in all honor classes, so it's it's stuff in there. So anyway, we're slowly, it's, the weather is just crazy. Right now it's about, what is today? Today is Thursday, the 17th of November. And uh, right now it's about 75 Fahrenheit, so which is what, 24 maybe Celsius degrees. You would think that it's the middle of April, warm, warm wind, it's just a nice breeze, you just want to sit outside, but uh, I still have a sniffles leftovers, so I don't think I will want to sit outside. So, okay, um, yeah, I've been slowly trying to organize better my craft room because I was participating in a local high school craft show for two days, so my craft room, craft room was a mess. Um, so um, my daughter bought for her birthday um, bookcase and I was putting it together and I guess I nailed it a little bit wrongly that you can kind of see the nail pushing out a bit so I'm like well you can take my bookcase so I gave her my bookcase now I need it for my craft from new bookcase I tried to put hers the bad one and uh, turns out it's like five inches shorter width so since I had the another bookcase on the other side I went hunting for one and they didn't have in the store that I bought before uh, that size or by that company so I was driving like crazy like at 9 p.m. in the evening because I'm like I want to find it you know because I kept on that bookcase all my stitching stuff you know whips and the kidding up stuff and the books and the finished projects that I didn't finish so it's like it was all on the guest room bed you know it's thank god nobody was visiting us at that time so I finally found far away in a store um, in the color I wanted which is white so I put it together and uh, so I'm slowly kind of putting things back and organizing um, 
and her bouquet, her own bouquets, I tried to drill, you know, in the wall in the stud to attach it to the wall um, because I don't want that to fall accidentally on anybody. And I guess I didn't drill enough when I was putting the screw in. The screw wouldn't go in, and it's like you know, three millimeters left between screw with the like L shape thing that holds the bouquets to the wall. So there's tiny, tiny space left, and I mean, it's not enough that things would fall out, but I was using um, not a screwdriver, but a, like a drill head, a drill with a screwdriver attachment, and it's like totally messed up the whole screw that like pretty much ate. I tried to use a rubber band because I've seen advertising that if, you know, the hole is not X anymore, and it's like almost like oh we can still put this um, rubber band in and unscrew it that way i thought i would unscrew it and drill a bit more uh in the stud but it wouldn't budge either way so i don't know what to do i think it still should be okay to put the stuff on the bookcase and uh, not worry but i just don't like when i can't get fully properly done you know just i'm not ocd pretty much most of the time but certain things just annoy me if it's not correct. So yeah, so I'm organizing uh, stuff like that. Uh, so very, very quick rant. You know, all the elections done, local and presidential. I'm not gonna go in presidential election because it's like crazy. But what annoyed me is it's been a while after all election and I still find some local um, campaign signs, you know, vote for this person, like for treasure. Come on, you know, you lost or you won, you still need to clean up. And it's not like in somebody's yard, it's in the street corner. So it's nobody's house in there. So um, like elections are over, get over it, you know, clean up your mess. So rent is over. Okay, so we'll get to my whips. Since last time I worked on two projects, it's been almost, almost about 10 days I think since last video. Um, so with me being sick and kids being sick and husband sick um, and all other stuff that has to go, I did work on the, on the two and one of them is finished and it's from Cross Stitcher June 1995 magazine. You see this one. And I did a 32 count um, hand dyed, which I tried myself. That was one of the first batches, if you remember, was showing the first fabrics I tried. So I wanted to make more antique. And oh. Um, you'll see where it looked last time. So it's yeah, it's done. So I really didn't like doing the words and glasses. Glasses um, were in used by two strands, and I couldn't figure out. I wanted to do a very long stitch, you know long but it doesn't look nice um, so I try to do as much as I can to kind of try to backstitch and stab and this it's for my uh, best friend from childhood and we came together well not together but we came from the same country from the same hometown um, but she lives like three states away which is like you know halfway across Europe kind of thing and that's for her uh, surprise birthday, which was in June, <laughs> and will be Christmas gifts in the same time. So um, I tried to figure out where to put my uh, initials so she would remember, you know, that's for me and when it's done. So I just put right here, very small, you know, there's a, this P is a tiny, tiny in here. I didn't want to mark anywhere like hard, strong way. I just kind of want to sort of blend in. So. So yeah, this is done. Now the hardest part will be picking out a good frame. I 
pick the frame and then I get the board and my son is like picking. Uh, get the board and I'll uh, do the stitching in the back to, so it just can, can be taken to let's see that lady used to work at Michael's now she works at Hobby Lobby and she's much more happier in there so I always take it to her she's sort of good acquaintance and um, she pops in the frame you know and dust it off or first pops in the frame always put the like museum type of glass, uh, no reflection thing, um, green tint thingy. Um, yeah, and she finishes very nicely. The time for the uh, check the timer. You can you can wait. <laughs> Usually when I try to film when nobody is home. Hold on a sec. make sure he took the correct medicine so yeah so that's finished and uh, we'll be picking out the frames and uh, another one I did I don't have a, I lost somehow the picture of what it's supposed to look like but I'll show you what it where it was the last time pretty much not much done um, I did add it's called I call it butterflies um, and um, I did that to start to stitch mania this year, so that's what it looked like last time. And uh, I worked only for six days, and this is what it's looking now. I hand dyed the fabric myself again, so I did uh, whatever back stitch needed, which is not a lot. So this whole area is done, all the butterf those butterflies are done. There's one more butterfly left and I really love those flowers. I don't remember what they called. Um, and in instructions, I couldn't figure it out because the same thread shows as the back stitch and the straight stitch. So I did like all strong straight lines when I had the fabric stretched. So, um, and there's going to be another butterfly, butterfly right here, and there's going to be more of the same type of flower, like on here and on the bottom, but I guess I could have done this moon um, in a glow-in-the-dark fabric, or, but I don't know, it, it didn't tell me, so some, I don't know why it didn't, I think it would have looked much, much better, so. So I'm going to set that aside, although it's very, not nerve-wracking, but it's like if I hook on something and I might be stubborn enough to just say, I'll finish it no matter what, you know, but I don't want to get um, sick of it. Um, when I was doing one of the Heaven and Earth uh, challenges, I just did wanted to make sure I finish in time and I was just working on that thing straight and it's like later when I finish the challenge I'm like I don't want to see this for a while you know um, I was just sick of it I'm going and I never did that before I guess because I was trying to work so much squeezed every second of the day that I could and that stitching I think I overdid myself but I finished in plenty of time <sighs> all right if you guys tried this town tradition um, blood orange delicious so. ah, okay so the whips are done and um, I just want to thank you guys uh, for uh, watching and subscribing and uh, those nice comments with some um, suggestions and uh, advice uh, when I ask. And um, I keep your oldies, my buddies, uh, from beginning. Thank you for sticking with me. And if you're newbie, then welcome to my channel. Floss Tube is amazing. Da, da 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 you love it, you will stick to it, and you will know what hit you, and you won't be able to live without it. Um, so, um, 
I was thinking since my birthday is coming up in about a month, I'll be doing, um, I want to share my, uh, I don't know, is it happiness or sadness that I'm turning that old? <laughs> but anyway, I want to share my uh, birthday with you guys, so I'll, um, I'll be doing a birthday drawing. And um, next time when I do video, I'll uh, give um, show what I'm going to offer. And uh, if you want to participate in that, you'll have probably a few weeks to enter. And um, yeah, so I want somebody to celebrate uh, my birthday with me, at least one person. So yeah, and um, let's see. So the next. Thing. Oh, remember how I told you I went to um, book signing and talking um, on the grand opening of this book by Laura K. Hamilton. She's a writer from St. Louis. She lives in St. Louis County, and uh, this was her 25th book in a series. So on the um, uh, grand opening day and everywhere, uh, she was in some ways talking to her fans, limited amount of fans, and asking her questions. Uh, I think I might even post it on um, Facebook because there was a live feed, which I didn't know about. So I've never had this happen to me before. When the book is interesting, I can gobble up this kind of book probably in two, maximum three days. I could read that fast. If it's interesting, you know, I kind of forgot my, um, some of my sleep. But this book, it took me weeks, weeks, not one week, but several weeks to finish. It's like I would read um, one chapter and then I couldn't read anymore. I had to stop. I think I really didn't want to finish this book. So I couldn't re continue reading until like minimum day or two days later. Um, that was the weirdest thing, you know. Um, like I knew I want to read another series of uh, reread another series, but I knew there won't be another book in this series for probably another year. So I think I've been I was dragging like subconsciously dragging my feet and reading it. So and it was some sad moments in there, but um, yeah, she she lives. <laughs> um, so what I'm planning to Back to stitching. Yeah. What I'm planning to stitch, continue. Um, I didn't know it was by bossy, bossy threads. Um, I have a set of dawn and uh, dusk. Um, so I bought it a while back. I've been considering, very, very tempted to uh, purchase one of those bossy thread kits where there's the um, hand dyed fabric and old block work from some story times, but um, I haven't bought it. I keep looking and looking at it. So, um, but this one um, is done, and uh, I got the fabric, sparkle fabric for this one. I did a tiny like hour of. Um, stitching during stitch mania I hand dyed the fabric so this is what <laughs> that like is part of the wing yeah see tiny tiny bit part of the wing uh, with very very slightly modeled fabric it's kind of purplish so that's all the fabric there is and it's a sparkly so I'll start working on this one and something else. I'm really trying to work or finish if possible on my Stitch Mania of this year, all the stuff. Um, because next year, to celebrate my birthday, I'm gonna already get up more than that. Um, I'm gonna do four new stars plus probably more. So. Uh, probably 15 will be during Stitch Mania, and then I'll spread out the others throughout the year. So, yeah. So, I guess next year will be, well, I might start in December. So, for one year will be new starts, 
year of stars and then following year probably will be year of wet uh, because um, I'm gonna start four new heaven and earth designs uh, speaking of which I've never done a um, layaway with heaven and earth you know so I figured out hey you know I'm gonna get several of the charts in print and I'm gonna try to see how the layaway goes you know it's just a little annoying you know because you have to wait for your chart um, and uh, I just um, didn't want to you want to wait, you know, want it to get right away because if, when you see something beautiful, it's like, I want it now. That's why we have charts that we have to stitch till we're like 500 because you see something beautiful and you want to get it for yourself or share with somebody, you know. So I finally paid off, uh, paid the layaway off. So let's see which part. And um, so I got it in print. Heavy. It is heavy. Thick. Um, one is Priya. I like it because it's unique and kind of colorful. All those shading is beautiful. I was thinking making this sometime in the future as a super giant size um i think green tigress uh, green crab tigress or something like that she made she had it like a tapestry done of her dragon but i was thinking making this as a giant size um type of tapestry so uh starry night i figured out it's not it's only 88 colors so <laughs> it shouldn't be that hard to find the, um, I don't know, yarn or maybe even try um, not six strand floss, but um, what's it called? Bigger floss. Ah, the virus. Anyway, so um, um, I'll be making, planning to stitch Dragon Ken as one of the uh, Heaven and Earth. Uh, I might start with the Beloved black and white, um, giant size, and I don't know, what's the third one, I love dragons, you know, um, and the red dragon, but I wanted to have a blue dragon, so since I'm going to have one fiery red dragon uh, with um, guarding its treasures, then this blue dragon with the water, I was born um, in the seaport, so the water is important, and I'm a fiery dragon, according to what, Chinese zodiacs or something like that, and I think this is going to be my fourth start of the year, Lilith, it's just, it's kind of weird size, you know, but um, very, I don't know, I like it. So, I'm giving you one of my starts. So, we started my precious pretties showing off. It's not a huge amount. I'm really trying to be careful with the sending. And uh, we, because we haven't sold our old house yet. Um, then I uh, saved the link. So, I followed and I bought chronic um, storage which was for like a bullet and I got exactly the one one um, some of them were suggesting so it came I think I don't remember where I bought it from Amazon or it's 50 round rifle flip top um, thing in the blue color but it holds a lot okay it holds a lot but it's doesn't want to go all the way in Hold on. and you see from a side if it's like you have to really squeeze in push in and then pull out if you want it to go I mean you don't have to go fully because it still has plenty of space up but I don't like when it wiggles you know that much so um, I think somebody was suggesting uh, on the other post in Stitch Mania 
uh, where they got slightly different but smaller amount of crania. I used to have it in like a little mini drawer but uh, all those little stickers starting to slowly bump in each other and peel off so yeah so I have blending filaments here and size 4 braid um, what I don't have in the kits it's all in here so I still have I need to get some more for certain other kits I'm still slowly keeping up since I went like crazy and was doing and uh, heating up I'll be dyeing some more fabric I'm gonna try some t different techniques for that so another thing I bought if you've been to like a dollar stores there's several to choose from I stumbled upon this it's like look like a brand new book you know um, she did I think Vampire Academy series and something else um, so anyway, for a dollar, you know, it's like, hey, I don't like it. I can always donate and um, it won't hurt me, you know. But uh, it sounded interesting, so I might try that. Oh, yeah, it says Vampire Academy <laughs> and Bloodlines. Uh, and then I went to the... Um, it's sort of like a Goodwill store, but it's it's called Savers, and um, all the profits go to support like a local veterans and um, not just like homeless people, but um, they have a specific cause. And um, I think I like it more than Goodwill um, because Goodwill CEO is getting, from what I remember, when they give different um, like charitable things. Uh, places and uh, Blue Cro uh, Red Cross when they showed the CEO how much CEO gets I was shocked so I went to the Saver store and um, I've never seen their um, like a, the fabrics or cross stitching or needlework magazine speaking about needlework magazines um, who was it I just recently watched a video the one that travels <laughs> constantly and shows the paintings and uh, here was it, Texas. Oh dang, I can't remember your name. Uh, always wearing your hat. I see her face. I can hear her voice. But anyway, I was thinking about uh, asking for subscription to um, Cross Stitch and Mirror cross stitch and needlework magazine for uh, like a birthday or Christmas so, you know for next year and she just announced that she received uh, like a letter from that magazine saying that they're quitting it's like what it was sad you know um, because from what I've got um, some magazines from uh, that company you know I didn't know about it until fairly recently and um, they have so much neat stuff in not just cross stitch which cross stitch it's like similar styles of petition but it's different finishings and different styles of stitching which I like too so it's like ah oh, you know there's nothing like that um, so I was really really bummed and I'm still looking for uh, um, I think two magazines from one of the year I think I showed before that I got um, from some store that I wanted to make like a monthly uh, little pictures that they had um, and uh, there are a couple of magazines they didn't have and I'm looking for them so um, if I remember I'll post it in um, my uh, link comments below and uh, maybe if you know or maybe willing to sell that magazine let me know so anyway, back to my precious pretties. So I went to the um, Saber store and uh, I've gotten there a uh, couple frames before and a couple of stitching books. So I stumbled upon this. It's a Reader's Digest Complete Guide to Needlework. I have a cross stitching different stitches book, but this is all about needlework. And uh, look at the thickness. 
you know, and uh, I got two books and total I paid five dollars, but it's super, super heavy. And it has embroidery, needlepoint, knitting, applique, quilting, patchwork, macrame, crochet, rug making, and lace work. And I think I'm gonna try all of them. Um, I think I don't have enough hours in a day or years in my lifetime for what I want, kind of stuff I want to do. It's like I want to do everything, you know, I want to try everything. So um, it's, it's very, um, the book from what it shows, it has lots and lots of pictures exactly how to do it and uh, talks about threads and uh, different fabrics and finishing and what kind of supplies you need. So it's, yeah, it's very nice. Thick, 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 heavy book. So I got that. And um, case. Oh, another one. <laughs> I just watched just watch like a couple of days ago. Um, the one that loves pansies. I wanted kind of to show and say, hey, you know, you like love pansies. So, and she just got this book. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't care for pants as much, but I found decorating your home um, with crosses, but uh, cooler. She beat me to it. And um, yeah, so uh, there's uh, some things that I like. I think um, I don't care much for like a frilly rose thing, but. Um, there are a few things that I think I could do, like on a either kitchen towel or on um, my bathroom. What I've done, I have a little design for it. Um, you know, and you know, that piece of the frock thing. I think it's pink. She likes pansies. Pansies. I'm sorry, pansies. Is that key crossage? Uh, yeah, so hi. <laughs> I know you probably will watch me sometime. Um, so I think that's the one she was she's liking. We both will be doing um, uh, George Washington's crossing the Delaware uh, project. So so yeah, I'm eager to see what her uh, part, your part is gonna be. So hello, and that's the book I got. So yeah, so I got that and. Da, 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 my long, long-awaited Christmas in July. First time getting picture this plus order. I barely made in time to get it. And uh, a couple of them I've been waiting to do my heaven and earth design. And I think one was for 99 bottles, which I don't have a chart yet. But I know I'm gonna want to do it, so I just got okay. So this is Edinburgh 36 count Arctic, and I'm just gonna fold and I got it half a yard. So and I have light green in it. So Belfast 32 count fat quarter of ale. So you've seen it, you know. What's about the color? Let's let's you got the ale. I um, can't remember what I got this for. Cash shell 28 count parfait. Very bright, sunshiny yellow with some um, like a red streaks throughout ah, it's washed out it's bright it's much brighter than what you see cash shell 20 count half a yard of moon glow so it's like a creamy creamsicle color This time I got four straight from them I, because I just had something, um, some from uh, one different stitch of theirs. Since I didn't know that, it just was best of July. 
sale. And oh, um, if any of you went on my Facebook page um, that I was planning to do as a store, probably didn't say anything because um, for me it's always easier to explain in the words, you know, in person than put it in the writing. So some descriptions I want to make sure it's understandable and um, so I, I asked for a help to fix up my grammar mistakes. So it's still not fully done. So um, yeah, so it will be coming. Um, but meanwhile, look what I found in making these new needle miners. So I don't have a doggy but it's look at that. Cute. My cousin has a doggy like that, and look at those sad eyes. They're not metal, um, so it's fairly lightweight. And look at this poodly doodly. Isn't it cute? And with the tongue sticking out. So I'll be making those in the needle miners. And is that a chihuahua? pointy pointy ears so there were buttons and um, I found these buttons I thought that was hilarious it's a pr different princesses you know with little like uh, crown thingies but what was hilarious you know that um, they can come apart um, so I have to glue them so you know it looks nice and cute but watch <laughs> ta 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 ta! How is that funny, isn't it? <laughs> so it's or like um, Rapunzel. You can just undo the kind of pull out the bit head. Isn't that looking weird? <laughs> so we have those two and. Uh, I don't think Cinderella can come that much apart. And uh, wow, that yeah, that's a bell. So I'm slowly making needle minders. The ones I made for a craft show, uh, I did like a test drive, and uh, pretty much all got wiped out fairly soon. It's like I had the, uh, I had the. Uh, frame made up, you know, a table frame um, from a pipe um, and um, sort of with the few snaps and I had that sitting while I was, had the kind of like posing my um, friend up as a book, um, rare book uh, stitching and I had a needle miner on that and it's like, what's that? You know, I'm like, that's a needle miner, you know, it's like, oh yeah, that's so cool, okay, you know, it's like they never heard of the needle minders, those who don't stitch. So even those who were stitching, it's like, that's so cool idea. I guess they don't watch Flosstube and don't go on a Facebook. That's where we learn all the stuff, right? So, um, so I've been thinking of changing my um, Flosstube name um, because I wanted to show in, um, my different other crafts and uh, maybe um, Teach you how to do some different things, not just the cross stitching. Um, so I'm considering changing it. Um, haven't decided yet. Um, so yeah, and uh, this weekend, in a few days, I'm in charge. Um, sorry for saying um. I'm in charge of uh, doing like a Lithuanian Christmas tradition talk and um, we'll have some traditional little Christmas Eve uh, me snacks, I would say nothing, you know, snacks and items and little slight drinks because Christmas Eve has a lot of different traditions uh, that are very important and like even, you know, no meat or dairy products a whole day. Um, and it has to be like 12 different uh, dishes and all kinds of stuff. So I'll, I'll be heading out a meeting for those who want to learn about it locally here. 
And what I'll, I'll be teaching is going to be uh, straw ornaments. So in older days, people would uh, make a house decoration like uh, or Christmas tree ornament out of uh, real straw. So I have, after many, many years, quite a few years ago, I made out of real straw. And the problem with real straw is straw is breakable, very easily breakable. So this got damaged because I had it in my old house. So that very simple pyramid. So you would hang, I mean, there's all kinds of things, but um, what's interesting with the real straw is if it's damaged, like here, the rip, you can just slice open and then thread it with the thread new piece. It just, it's so easily breakable. So. That's my sample and you would think it's only that one made so I borrowed a um, couple from a lady who used to decorate the tree and you can make all kinds of things off the tree, out of the drinking straws. There is a bell, ding dong ding dong, the witch is gone, ah oh, I miss Halloween, I still have like a few small items set out. Oh I love um Halloween stuff, if you remember, and uh, some Christmas stuff, and uh, Supernatural and the Vampires, so I've been drooling over Vinny the Vampire um, by Stars of the G Company. Uh, you've probably seen it, Vinny, um, so I've been drooling to make, so if you know any other very cute designs, um, could you let me know? I'd like to collect uh, and uh, different witches maybe too um, so this is you can cut the straws she had it for many many years and there is a thing even inside you know so thank you and you can make a mushroom oh, look at that isn't it cute i have to figure out how she did it and uh, I might teach you guys then some straw ornament making because it's very, I think it's very unique, you know. So, so yeah, isn't that amazing? So anyway, uh, I'm thinking about changing the name so I can, if you're interested, you can learn how to point underneath. Um, I make separate video for different crafts, not stitching, not costuming, um, so you would know that it's not for stitching and you wouldn't have to watch it. Ah, what else? What else? I'm thinking. I think that's it. So very soon I'll do my giveaway um, instructions for birthday celebration and uh, I'll do my 40 start or at least what I want to do is a 40 start because I have it more than that um, I'll show you what I'm planning to make so maybe if some of you were planning to do some of my same projects we can do the style or just follow each other and see how it goes or if we have questions and stuff like that so I think that's it uh, I've been talking for a while and uh, I might do later tag. I don't think uh, we need any right now. So we'll see how I'll go check up on my son and a husband and uh, there's all kinds of things going on and uh, yeah my son really wants to do um, exchange uh, program with uh, different students. He's in a German club. He loves to learn German and uh, I, I liked Germany when I was there once traveling through and still living there as a Taizé uh, meeting of people. So this program does where a um, German kid has to be same sex as your child if you're hosting that person, like it's my son boy, so, so the other student would be boy. So they would stay for like three weeks before Easter. And then if you want it, you can go that summer 
and there's pool there and spend uh, time there, but I don't know if I want to let him out and uh, um, spend all that trip uh, for a short time. Um, I'd rather just as go as a whole family somewhere um, around there and spend time there together. So, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. He really wants to do be the host. So. And there's all kinds of things going on. And the Boy Scouts, um, if you're in the U.S., there's a Boy Scout um, bag um, of food items um, pick up this Saturday. So don't forget, if you have something, set it outside. Because I'm, I'm sure you had a bag hanging off your doorknob last Saturday. So yeah, so put something in a baggie for those less fortunate um or run in the store, even, you know, it's not only food items, it's always useful to send out some hygiene items, you know, um, there um, would be happy or, you know, for that, and um, what the Girl Scouts were doing, warm up winter project, uh, so we're making blankets where girls tying up the ends, but uh, if you think about donating something to like a shelters, I uh, think um, they always want some like a uh, socks, you know, because in the shoes, socks really wear out, especially if you do a lot of walking, you make a lot of holes. So Thanksgiving is coming up, so it's in a week. That's right, in a week. So I want to wish you happy Thanksgiving and think about what you're thankful for and perhaps what other people don't have. So open your heart a bit. It's not Christmas yet, but it's Thanksgiving. So I'm thankful that we have roof uh, overhead and enough food and uh, can afford some hobbies uh, for all of us. So um, I think that's it. I'll um, sign off and I'll talk to you perhaps at the end of the month. Okay, I tell. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.